In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the new book by Tilly and the Buttons called Make It Simple. And if you're ready to find out what I think about the book, keep on watching. Hello, I'm Juliet Uzo of SoSoNatural.com and this is a place for people who love to create their own clothes, own their style and showcase them for everyone to see. So if that sounds like something you're into, then hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification right next to it and um, when next I upload a video, you'll be notified. Anyway, let's jump right into this. So Tilly, who also wrote these two books, one called Stretch and the other one called Love at First Stitch, released a new book called Make It Simple. My one arrived a day after I ordered it on Amazon, but I missed the delivery so I had to pick it up later on. I picked it up yesterday and I thought I'll come here and review it and let you know my thoughts on the book. I have a fun announcement to make right at the end of this video, so I'd really appreciate it if you watched it all the way and I'd really love to know your thoughts on the announcement. This book is about simple, easy projects that can be completed in no time. Um, Tilly, who's really well known for breaking down tips and tricks and sewing projects for even the least experienced sewer, has done it again with this book. She's given lots of sewing advice that even people who've been sewing for so long could um, you know, refer back to and refresh and brush up on their skills. I love how she also gave tips on how long it should take for each project to be created. So um, that's what this book really is about. It has lots of sewing projects that, be com that can be completed and that can fit into a lot of people's um, wardrobes. <laughs> there are so many sewing projects in here and there are so many garments that be can be created using the patterns in this book. We have um, the Sophia trousers which she has also included a few tips and hacks. She has also included um, a t-shirt called the Tabitha t-shirt. There is a Suki dress, there is the Bertha cardigan, there is the Juno pyjamas and there is the olive pinafore. Six patterns in one book. I think that's a bargain. I think that's really good. But the thing is, it's not just six pat pattern ideas that you get from this. You get even more like variations and adaptations that can be made with, with the patterns in this book. Ideas that can fit into a lot of people's wardrobes. The instructions in this book are super, super, very well detailed with, uh, you know, images and drawings to guide even the least experienced sewer. Lots of projects in this book are excellent for people who are absolute beginners um, and new to sewing. She has you know, instructions telling you how long it should take for things to be completed. She's included some extra tips before each project or after each project. And if you watched this video that I had last year talking about projects that can help you find your sojo. I believe a lot of projects in this book can help you find your sojo. So excellent, excellent details and excellent um, instructions. So a question that might be on your mind is, what do I like or dislike about the book? Now, I like, well, you can already tell that I like a lot of things in this book. I always, I mean, Tilly does a good job with her books and you know, you can't, there's no hiding that fact. But what I really like about this book is the fact that the, <laughs> that the options and the sewing patterns that, that are included in this book are garments that can fit in a lot of people's wardrobes. They are easy to style. They're easy to inc incorporate into work days or going out or whatever it is. Lots of the projects in here, except the, the, the pyjamas obviously but the pyjamas can be you know there's a new pyjama trend guys so who knows what people can do with the pyjamas in this book but what I'm trying to say is the sewing patterns in here are very realistic another thing that I really like about this book is the pattern sizing now her patterns go all the way up to a bust 48 inches which is the same as 122 centimeters her the waist goes up to 42 inches which is like really you know it's that's good and the hip size 51 inches um, 51 inches same as 129.5 centimeters and um, waist 42 inches same thing as uh, 106.5 centimeters you know so they run quite large and they go quite small as well so they do fit in with um, 
women of a range of body sizes. The next thing I like about this book is the way Tilly incorporated real women in her books. So the models are actually real life, like real girls with real body types, um, different body types as well. So not everyone's all like curvy. So you've got different body types into body shapes and I really like the way she's done that in this book. So it, it, it kind of, um, it, it shows everyone the fact that anyone can wear any of these patterns or any of these garments which is an extra bonus i actually really like her fabric choices in this book i mean the fabrics that she she's used for um, a lot of them are so appealing i like the cat's pajamas the pink cat pajamas fabric <laughs> i like um, a lot of the fabrics here as well are part of her range which is excellent so um, that's good marketing she's also included lots of variations for each pattern which i'm going to talk about in a minute and um, Tilly has also included some challenges to move people on. Now, one of the challenges that I really like here is the fact that for the t-shirt, she's also, <laughs> she's done a mini tutorial on how to create a skirt. Well, not really a skirt, but a skirt to, to extend the t-shirt into a dress. That's good for challenging people, people who are still new to sewing, but would like to actually have a go and drive right into pattern creation excellent excellent challenge for people what don't i like about the book i don't like tracing <laughs> i don't like trace i hate tracing patterns i mean partly because i like to create my own patterns and um, i find it's just oh i don't like tracing patterns i've never come across any sewer who enjoys tracing patterns question for today's video is <laughs> do you like to trace sewing pattern let me know in the comment section below also what technique do you use to trace sewing patterns? Just leave a comment in the comment section. Let's all find out from you. Now, I don't like tracing sewing patterns, but needs must. I've bought the book, I have to do it. I have to just get over it and do what I've got to do. So a tip for anyone who doesn't like to, <laughs> anyone who doesn't like to trace using a, you know, the traditional tracing wheel is to use tracing paper. I've stumbled across something called a Swedish tracing paper, which comes in large rolls, which means that you can actually use quite a big piece. And um, what I do is I put my Swedish tracing paper over my sewing pattern and I use a pencil and trace over it, cut it out and I'm done, I'm done. So I don't have to worry about tracing around the sewing pattern using a tracing wheel, then drawing over it and finding the tiny little dots and then cutting it out and all of that. So what I do is I use Swedish tracing paper. I'll leave a direct link in the description section below for the Swedish tracing paper that I use. The fun announcement that I mentioned earlier on in the video is that I am going to be sewing something fun out of this book but I'm going to do it in collaboration with Tamlin, the lovely Tamlin and I'm going to leave her a link in the description section below because we're going to be collaborating. We're going to be collaborating on the Tabitha t-shirt but we're going to make it into a dress. However, we'll have different interpretations of the sewing pattern obviously. I would, I'm really excited to see how Tamlin's going to interpret hers. Um, we, we just know that we are going to create the Tabitha t-shirt and that's it. So we haven't discussed like what type of fabric or blah, 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 whatever it is. We are all going to just use whatever notions. We're going to hack it however we want, but we're going to present it for everyone to see on the same day. And it's going to be um, end of March that we're going to share the video on the same day. So um, look out for that. That's, that's going to be fun because I don't know what she's going to do with hers and she doesn't know what I'm going to do with hers. And I love challenges like that. However, how do you come in? You're going to help me pick what fabric I should use to create my own Tabitha t-shirt and that's going to be really fun. I am going to show, <laughs> I am going to show you all the different fabric options that I have and I'll really really appreciate it if you can leave me a comment in the comment section below and tell me which one you think I should use. I also do it on Instagram so I can collate everything together and then select the winning fabric and then I'll create the garment using so it'll be a Tabitha t-shirt dress using the fabric that's chosen this is so exciting um, I did mention that I will be doing like sort of um, polls where people help me design my garment so this is gonna be interesting and I'm really looking forward to it so the fabric options are first of all we have this here which is oh it ma oh, excuse me 
Right, so this here is a, it's a light, sort of light scuba fabric, but it's stretchy. It's actually got maybe just two way stretched because this way isn't too stretchy. But yeah, I will, I have this option first and it's this olive green um, fabric. I think I have enough of this fabric to create a dress, so it should be all right. Second option. It's this sort of, um, oh, it's a fun, so they're all jersey, by the way, for this, for, so for this design, you need to use a jersey fabric, and this here is an abstract kind of art design, and the fabric is also scuba, <laughs> scuba, and it's got, um, I think it's got four-way stretch, not very much, but, you know, Definitely two-way stretch, but not too stretchy along with some direction. But yes, I've got this fabric and it's not a two, it doesn't have to, um, it, the design's only on one side of the fabric, but it's fine because it's not a high-low, it won't be a high-low dress. If it will be a high-low dress, then it won't really work because you see like white on the inside, it won't be. But anyway, yeah, so if you'd like me to use this abstract fabric, let me know in the comments section below but it's such a cool print next on the list number three is this dark red it's like a burgundy or maroon fabric it is quite light it's not too oh my gosh it's actually quite see-through now i don't know whether to use this um, anyway, I'll include, I, I picked it so I have to use it somehow and then I'll have to decide on what to wear on the inside whenever I wear this. If, if you do choose this fabric, we'll have to decide on how we're going to work it. But I'm just getting an idea, an idea's just come to me now, whether to mix and match this fabric and the previous fabric. But anyway, let me know as well if you think I can mix and match both of them, let me know. But I've got enough here to make myself a t-shirt dress. Now, the fourth fabric on the list is this fabric. I've had this for so long. You know, one of those fabrics that just catches your eye when you walk into a fabric store and you're like, oh my God, I like this. So here I have this. This is another abstract sort of print. And it is scuba as well. Gosh, I love scuba, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it's. I've got enough here. I think I've got about two and a half, but it runs really wide. So I've got two and a half inch meters and um, it's scuba as well. But this is a, a much thicker scuba fabric. So let me know what you think, if you think I should use this fabric. The next on the list has got to be this shiny number. It's a jersey, obviously, a, sh a shiny jersey fabric. I think I bought this from a stall in Walthamstow on the high street, and it's so cool, this fabric. I've been looking for the perfect project for this one, and I think um, this might just be the one. You let me know. It's silver and it's shiny. Then the final option, which is option number six, is this. Gosh, what is it with me and olive? Hmm. This here is an olive um, brushed. I think it's got a, like a brushed sort of um, fleecy kind of e uh, effect at the back of it. But it's also jersey. So we've got this option here. It's an olive leopard print or animal print jersey fabric it's much it's got more weight to it and it's got four way stretch um and i like i like this fabric i've had it for a while and i would like to know what you think about this one so let me know if i should use this one Absolutely, I will recommend buying this book. I would totally recommend it. I would recommend this book to um, any sewer of any experience or ability. I would recommend this to an absolute starter who's at the beginning stages of learning how to sew. I would recommend this book to anyone who is an improver sewer. 
I would recommend this book to a person who's even experienced because you just don't know what tips you're gonna get from this book it's also an easy read okay and um, sometimes the projects in here might be great just to like kickstart your your sojo <laughs> mojo well your mojo your sewing mojo and it's an excellent excellent book and I would totally recommend it but you know what I think the best thing to do to make it more interesting and fun with your sewing community or your sewing friends would be to pick one of the projects in this book. It could be any of the, the patterns. It could be the, the pajamas. It could be something you can actually wear out. It could be something that you can wear to work. Pick one of the projects and decide um, to challenge yourself and a friend or friends, sewing friends. And have a look and see how you how you're all going to interpret it. Have a look to see what fabric each other uses, what hacks each other like each person does. Have a look to see what fabrics people use, what colors they incorporate, and you know make in, enjoy and get good use out of the book. I think that would be a great way to use this book in your community. Um, give yourselves probably two months, give yourselves one month to um, get your fabrics out, choose your fabric and get sewing. But the idea behind this book, in my opinion, is you don't have any excuses. You can just get on with it and sew. So well done Tilly and her team of excellent ladies for um, another great book. Well, I purchased mine on Amazon. I'm so pleased for her as well. I think this is extra motivation for us ladies to just go after our dreams. Whatever it is you have in, in mind, go for it, go for it and chase after it until you get that end goal. Well done team buttons. Great one, great one. And I can't wait to see what more they have for us this year or next year or in the next five years or in the next 10 years, whatever it is, well done. Thank you so much for your time. I really do hope to see you in the next video and all the best. Goodbye! <laughs>